How's it going, Charles Bodenston? A little bit different attire, and the reason that it's a different attire is because I wanted to make sure to include this in, this is one of the most important things when you're actually selling your house, which is getting everything prepared. You need to get your home prepared. I literally walk in, and I see it's either a mess, or there's personal items, or there's a painting on the wall that's taking up the whole wall, and it's better to leave it just white. You'll have a purple wall, or, or a really dark blue that just really doesn't jive with the apartment. We gotta clear up the children's area because there's toys everywhere. It may be offensive because you're like, yeah, but that's my kid's toy, or that's my wall. You know, religious or political things you have to take down, or personal photos you have to take down. As much as I, I, I love it, everything about it, the thing is you need a buyer that comes in and they see themselves, not yourself, themselves, that buyer buying the home a blank slate. They need to walk in and say, oh, okay, all right, perfect. They could have had a skiing accident and there's trauma behind it and they see you on top of a stove and you're on top of it and you're ready to ski down. And perfect example, I had a buyer walk in and there was book, books written by, um, what's his name, Bill O'Reilly. My buyer was not for Bill O'Reilly and that's the thing is, when we walk through, she's like, yeah, I don't know. We need to have it just curb neutral. That's the way I say it. There's curb appeal when you drive a car up to a house and you look at the landscape and you look at the house and the gutters and the shingles and the painting. How is it upkept? The windows, are they clean? Which is very important, I'll talk about that. The biggest thing is it needs to be a blank slate. If there's staging that needs to happen, just let me know because number one is I don't think a lot of the time you need the staging. It's only if there's no furniture and it's a really small apartment and you need to show what you could fit in there. You could fit a couch, you could fit a bed and a dresser. Or if there's a lot of things, we need to clear things out. Declutter. Get that $150 storage unit or $400 storage unit per month, which is nothing compared to the tens of thousands of dollars that your, your home could get more if you clear it out. If people can't see themselves putting their own couch, their own table, their their own paintings, their own pictures, their own materials and bed and everything else in the home, it's not gonna sell at the top dollar. It's gonna sell, but it's not gonna sell at the top dollar. We'll just go over a couple things. Number one is in the living room. You have to straighten up everything. The sofa, the couch, the pillows, the cushions, the tables. Clean any waste paper baskets, uh, remove them. The bedroom, make sure everything is tucked away neatly. It looks fantastic, bed is made, the curtains are open, the, the light is streaming. Unless there's an ugly view, then you close the curtains. You wanna make the home look as good and as presentable as possible. Turn on all the lights. Make sure if it's a hot day, the AC is on. If it's a cold day, the windows are closed and the heat is on. In the bathrooms, this is very important, the two places that people really make their decision is the bathroom and the kitchen. Because those are the places that people renovate. Yeah, they make it on the size of the, the living room and the bedroom, but to be honest, if the kitchen is really nice, people will forego a couple of things about the size of the bedroom or the living room or the location if the kitchen is really nice, even if they don't actually cook or entertain. In the kitchen, go in the refrigerator, remove anything that may smell, that's old, that's rotten, dishwashers, make sure the dishwasher is clean. You may be thinking like, Charles, like, why do I need to clean my dishwasher? You need to clean the dishwasher because people are gonna open it and if they see there's dirty dishes or pasta bowls or it's a mess or it's dirty, it's a reflection on the home. Really what you want someone to do is walk into your house and just not only imagine themselves living there, but not have a reason to not like the house. Your home, your apartment, your townhouse, your condo, your investment. You want people to walk in there and be like, I like everything about this house. You don't want someone to walk in there for some stupid reason, be like, the refrigerator smells, or the bathroom's not clean, a smell coming from the waste paper basket, like easy things that we can control. You can't control the location, you can't control the amount of light that it gets. The thing is that you can't control those things. What you can control is what you need to change overall. Remove anything religious, political, personal photos, clean the windows, artwork, anything that's hanging, make sure it's straightened out, the closets are clean, if you have a baby, a child, a pet, make sure it's all clean, that whole area, electronics are off. That's pretty much it, is that leave your house, open the door to your home, and just imagine you're walking through as a buyer, what would you wanna clean out? And if anything, bring us over, we'll consult for free, because this is one of the most important things. Number one is before you take the photos, before you take the video, before you have your first open house, before any of that, you need to have your house in order. Have an awesome day. This is one of the steps to putting your home on the market correctly to get you top dollar. Any questions, let us know. Have a great day. Again, my name is Charles Botenston from Botenston Properties International. Talk to you soon.